Shalom everyone uh, Doing another video for you I uh, thought I'd start the day um, Reading the Shema Here O Israel uh, <coughs> Deuteronomy chapter 6 And <coughs> From verse 1 now this is the commandment, the statutes, and ordinances that Yehovah, your Elohim, commanded to teach you to do in the land you are crossing over to possess, so that you might fear Yehovah, your Elohim, to keep all his statutes and mitzvot, laws, that I am commanding you, and your sons, and your sons' sons, all the days of your life, and so that you might prolong your days. Hear, O Israel, therefore, and take care to do this, so that it might go well with you, and you might increase mightily, as Yehovah, your Elohim, the God of your fathers, has promised you in the land flowing with milk and honey. Shema Israel, Yehovah Elohenu, Yehovah Ehad. Hear Israel, Yehovah, your God, Yehovah is one. And you shall love Yehovah, your Elohim, <coughs> with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. These words which I am commanding you today are to be in your heart. You are to teach them diligently to your children, and speak of them when you sit down in your house. When you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up, bind them as a sign on your hand. They are to be as frontlers between your eyes, and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Amen. Um, the thought I was having today when looking at uh, the Shema is how closely related it is to the fifth commandment. Uh, since we were doing the fifth commandment this week, uh, studying it at our uh, little kehillah, um, we, congregation really, not, not kehillah yet, um, we were studying the fifth commandment and basically the similarities between the fifth commandment and this, um, where it talks about uh, long life. As, uh, as part of the reward for uh, doing this. Um, and the fifth commandment means um, honor your father and mother that it might go well with you, that you might have uh, length of days, that your life will be prolonged. And we have a heavenly father, and that's what we we're talking about as well, and about honoring him. And notice the, the whole point of uh, Deuteronomy 6 is that we have to um, teach our children. And that's a great responsibility, I think, um, for those of us that, that have children. And... Um, And the commandment goes two ways. Um, it's a two-edged sword. On the, on the first hand, the children have to, we children have to obey our, our parents, and we have to obey our Heavenly Father and uh, bring honor to His name. And on the other hand, um, our parents are shooting us like arrows. Right? This is the whole point of... of uh, understanding what the Hebrew is actually saying there. Um, we're being shot uh, to hit a target because transgression, sin, um, is actually missing the mark. So hitting the mark um, is uh, related to this word, honoring. And so we are being shot out by our parents to um, hit the target that they have set for us. Now this target has to do with Torah, and 
unless we are being taught the Torah, it's hard uh, for anyone to be able to honor their parents. Because honoring your parents is closely related to uh, the teaching of Torah. So Deuteronomy uh, chapter 6 tells us as parents what we need to do. And it's our responsibility on our on our behalf um, to teach our children the Torah, the instructions of the kingdom, and shoot them out so that they would hit that target and not transgress the Torah. Because we know that sin is transgression of the Torah, according to Scripture. It's the only way, the only place where it defines what sin actually is. It says sin is transgression of Torah, transgression of the law. And so um, the responsibility that we have as parents is to make sure that we are teaching our children. It says they, um, you know, basically at all times, uh, whatever we are doing, uh, it has to become a place of, of teaching of Torah, right? It says here, um, I prolong your life, therefore, here in Israel. Okay, these words which I am commanding you today are to be in your heart. You are to teach them diligently. That's the other thing. Uh, diligence is not a word that is uh, very used uh, practically in our, in our society. Um, we have to be diligent. Diligent. Make sure that you spend every day doing something uh, related to Torah so that your children can see you doing it and learn from example. Um, not just words. Teach them diligently to your children and speak of them when you sit in your house. Okay? Um, many times we find people talking idle words and talking about the weather and, you know, small talk here and there, uh, don't waste your time, if you've got children, make sure you speaking with them about Torah, discussing things, and, um, whatever it is, you know, just pick a topic and just bring it up, and, uh, you'll see how much fun the kids have uh, discussing Torah, and, uh, giving their opinions, and, you know, midrash, midrash with your children. Speak to them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You know, um, that's another thing. When children go to bed, you know, make an effort. Go and pray for them. Uh, let them hear the words, uh, you know, of, of the scriptures. Pray the ironic blessing over them, whatever, you know. Pray the Shema. Uh, let, let them hear God's word as they're going to sleep. And when they wake up, when you're sitting around the breakfast table, you know, talk about things that are uh, of Torah so that they get the understanding and, and this thing fills their whole life so that uh, the word of God never comes back empty, right? Uh, whatever God has sent it out to do, it will fulfill it. So... Um, the more that we immerse our family into the Word of God, the more fruit that we're going to get from that. And God's Word will bring amazing good fruit. Um, I can attest to that. So, um, my word today uh, is an encouragement to fathers everywhere. Teach your children Torah and uh, spend your time in the Word Spend your time in prayer with your family. Um, don't just do tour, Torah yourself, um, but prepare your children so that in the future they, they will be able to honor you, you know, and fulfill their fifth command. Um, because if you don't train them in Torah, uh, they can never fulfill the fifth commandment that you uh, setting them up uh, to transgress Torah. So, as fathers, um, if you're a father and you have children out there, uh, begin to speak Torah with them, begin to meet Raj, discuss Torah, um, all of that stuff. Uh, make an effort. Make an effort. 
All right, Mishpacha, uh, Feast of Trumpets coming out uh, very soon, depending on which day you started. Um, you might have a few days or a month, and um, may you be blessed. Uh, may Yehovah hear you when you call out to him, hear the sound of your shofars. Uh, may uh, the blessings come to you as you enter into Yom Teruah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. Uh, so blessings, get ready, because it's coming soon. So get everything under control, all things ready. Um, and yeah, send us uh, an email and say hi. Uh, love to hear from you. Shavuot Tov. And uh, signing out.